And for the last part of Module 1, about histori historical antecedents in which social considerations change the course of time, let's proceed to Lesson 4. This is uh, Philippine Inventions. Let's have now, let's showcase our country. Inventions in the Philippines, recorded inventions in the Philippines. Okay. First one is Jeepney. The most unique form of transportation in Manila is Jeepney. Even dito sa atin. Pero ngayon, masyado na para sa mabilisan na, na iba na. na may, meron na tayong habal-habal. But, recorded as the most unique form of transportation in the Philippines is that the jeepney. Actually, that jeepney na nakikita nyo is a converted army jeep outfitted with many decorations. Marami pa yung dekorasyon. The colorful jeepneys are often used for short trips within the city and are integral part of Manila's public transportation system, which also includes, uh, habang tumatagal, mar marami ng bus and rail lines. And we have also the Salamander Amphibia Woods Tricycle. I just don't know if you were able to, to have this one. Kasi ngayon, meron na tayo ito, center bike, the e-bike, e marami na tayo yung rakal na tinatawag natin. And many other things and these are based on uh, the idea of a cert, uh, center bike na tinatawag, na tinatawag natin it's not the tri uh, it's actually a tricycle but it's not the typical tricycle na ginagamit natin for transportation okay the salamander amphibious was tricycle is an ordinary transport vehicle that can cross not only flooded streets but also rivers and lakes invented by victor Llave and his team at water at H2O Technologies. Yan. Another, uh, actually, it's uh, it plays a significant invention in the Philippines, but I just don't know if this is now existing. I, I Even in my case, as a science teacher, I wasn't able to look into the salt lamp this time. Okay. Salt lamp discovered by a young Filipina named Isa Miheno was able to invent a lightning system that utilizes a material abundant in the Philippines. Imagine, salt lamp that is run by a salt water. She invented the sustainable alternative light or salt, sustainable alternative lightning lamp, and it is a mixture of a glass of tap water with two tablespoons of salt. Yun lang ang, that's the in, uh, in, uh, contributions of Aisa Miheno. Okay, let's proceed in terms of medicine naman tayo. Medical incubator, Dr. Fi Del, Del Mundo, a Filipino pediatrician, are those doctors or experts, experts in, in studying uh, babies or baby, uh, yes, yung sa mga bata. And the first Asian women admitted into Harvard Medical School devised a medical incubator made from indigenous and cheap materials which did not run by electricity. The purpose of having this medical incubator is that to accommodate or to practice this uh, method to, uh, incubate, to incubate babies, lalo na doon sa mga areas na uh, walang uh, electricity, no electricity at all. Imagine that a Filipina, a, a Filipino pediatrician, were able to invent a medical medical incubator that's that is not run by electricity. Okay, so let's have outstanding Filipino scientists. Uh, let's uh, let's know them. Alamin natin sino pa kaya yung mga outstanding Filipino scientists that that were that was able to make great inventions contributions to philippine science technology and society okay we have here ramon cabanus barba is an outstanding research on tissue culture in philippine mango that that is why in region six and seven the, the mango capital of the philippines is the uh, there is the introduction of the tissue culture practice and it was then uh, the study of ramon cabanus barba Next is Josefino Casas Camiso works on observing the characteristics of Antarctica by using satellite images. And Jose Bahar Cruz Jr. elected as the officer of the famous Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. 
and we have also Lourdes Hansai Cruz research on sea snail venom it's because uh, for the information of those who are listening and those who are watching when we are uh, uh, there is also the the research uh, talking about the venom by sea snail that is an offshoot it's a bearing in order to create it's either a new medicine for pharmacologic procedures and we have also Fabian Millar Dagrit research on herbal medicine uh, way back in, in our elementary years we are highly encouraged to, to put up gardens herbal garden herbal medicine garden because uh, herbal herbal plants madali uh, natin siya this are readily available if it, kasi ngayon if we're going to talk uh, AMR or the antimicrobial resistance when we take antibiotics sobrang grabe na ang resistance ng katawan natin there is the timeline in the discovery of antibiotics be it came from uh, microorganisms a fungi there is a resistance and once our body our system is is, is, is that a certain medicine is tolerable na pag parang natotolerate siya ng katawan natin ay kaya na our system demands for a higher spectrum of antibiotic at delikado yun kasi we look into another medicine na naman pataas tayo ng pataas okay let's proceed other outstanding Filipino scientists recognized worldwide okay we have Cesar A. Saloma an international renowned physicist Edgardo Gomez famous scientist in marine science William Padolina, a chemistry and president of the National Academy of Science and Technology or the NSAT Philippines, ngayon nas na ito, National Academy of Science and Technology ngayon. That was before, during the time of Ferdinand Marcos, and it was continued during the time of uh, Aquino. And we have Angel Alcala for same with uh, Edgardo Gomez on marine science. Okay, so... I think I'm done with our lesson for our module 1 the important concepts that we are that we need to remember that we need to internalize as far as historical antecedents uh, that shape the science and technology okay so before we end allow me to to greet those who are with us this afternoon joining with us live via the, the best 93.1 the best in Scott Buffalo radio station yung nanonood sa atin we have uh, Renz Habla good afternoon Avilin Hamora Jelly Gabotero Sir Roger good afternoon po sir Baby Leite we have Charlotte Cortez and De Dennis Villarias okay so yung mga na, yung mga nakikinig naman sa atin sa 93.1 in your frequent sa radio frequency maraming salamat po sa sa pakikisama nyo sa akin this afternoon for this College of Education School on Air Program uh, Special Edition. Maraming maraming salamat po. Until next time, makakasama nyo rin ako to discuss next schedule if time would permit talking about GE7 Science, Technology, and Society. And before, again, allow me uh, uh, to take this opportunity to to greet my friends ang ka, mga ka board mate ko in the manor and some of and same thing with my fellow instructors from the college of education and my previous uh, uh, co-instructors in the college of engineering maraming maraming salamat po and that ends our special edition program from the college of education this is sir alvin and saying goodbye and maraming pong salamat